finish this. Oh, I have one question for you. <laughs> oh, here we go. What kind of woman is your type? I like them thick. I like them round. I like them voluptuous. <laughs> Guys, welcome to episode 15 of Jujutsu Kaisen. I know, I know, I have finally caught up. I know a lot of people are going to be asking, why am I not uploading the other episodes or the other reactions? I'm just not. I'm just going to watch them in private. And then now I caught up and this is exactly where I want to be right now. So we can just progress through the anime together at real time. So now we're going to watch episode 15. If you guys enjoy this reaction with me, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new and let's get it started. All right, so far, I know for a fact, Itadori, he finally came back and he finally announced himself as being alive. People thought that he was still dead after all this time. And man, the whole situation with Junpei was just fucking saddening as hell. All right, so now everyone's gonna be out in the forest basically looking for each other. Bro, the other team, they got a little witch and everything. Bro, this looks like the Hunger Games or like the tuning exams in Naruto where they're just all in the forest looking for each other just so they can fuck each other up. So far, if I remember correctly, they were saying that basically they they had to fight demons or they had to fight crazy cursed spirits as well as the teams that are surrounding the area so i think it's like whoever defeats the teams and whoever defeats the most spirits end up winning look at that crazy ass spider what the hell oh my god this big brolic ass dude yo there's something wrong with that brolic guy a couple episodes back my man was like what type of girls are you into and if you gave the wrong answer yo my man just need him in the face now nah, he gotta watch out with this man todo he kind of fucking diesel as hell he was not playing bro you have to make sure that you have the right preferences or kinks when you're talking about females next to this man his testosterone level is through the roof itadori man you better watch out when you fight in this man because he crazy also before continuing this episode can we just please talk about with how sexy the the i know this is not a season two but the second opening of this anime because don't get me wrong the first anime opening was a banger i love the visuals but now in the second opening that they have with i believe season one i just love it man it was beautiful the song was great the animation it it, it, it just feels right man but anyway i just wanted to talk about that let's just keep continuing so this is most likely them talking like before they get into the exams or before they start the whole shit they're just warning us about Todo because this guy is just fucking crazy. Straight up roid rage the whole fucking time. Oh, so their plan was to leave one person behind to occupy him. So that's why Itadori went to go fucking fight him while everyone just ran right past him. That is actually a good plan. See, that's very smart. They're just having Itadori there to distract him. And knowing Itadori's power and shit, even if you fucking punched him and beat the holy hell out of Itadori... He's still going to heal because he has Secunda or whatever, the, the cursed demon inside of him that's just always going to heal him. And I feel like he just can't die. All right, the square up is starting now. Oh, shit, here we go. Whoa, but the little cursed spirit. He punched through it. He punched through the fucking cursed mo- God damn. My arm's still there. That's what I was saying. The cursed spirit took the blow. Holy shit, my man is stomping him out with the Timbs. Italori is bloody the fuck up. You guys can't see it because it's behind my head, but god damn. This man is so full of himself. He's like, done already? That's it? Nah, Italori ain't done. He is not done. He is far beyond done. Oh, Italori is pissed off now. He's about to catch these hands. Oh, I have one question for you. Oh, here we go. What kind of woman is your type? I like them thick. I like them round. I like them voluptuous. Itadori, come on, man. Are you a man of culture? Are you a man of culture? With a big ass. Let's fucking go, Itadori. Oh, shit. Like Jennifer Lawrence. Why does he keep bringing up Jennifer Lawrence? Did he just build a, an emotional attachment with Itadori? They're friends now. They built a connection. What is going on? This shit turned into a slice of life anime out the fucking blue just because he says he likes girls girls with big asses bro the angles in this shit what the fuck <laughs> what am i watching this is not the same anime i'm already in love with someone she turned him down oh my god man he slapped him in the back of the head i'll treat you to some ramen what the fuck is going on you know what i'm not even complaining anymore i like it 
And I like that it's like widescreen now, like it's like a fucking movie or some shit. My man got Moko, so he got boogers coming out. Seems like we're best friends. Oh, the fucking witch, bro. This bitch with the blicky. She just straight shooting? New Shadow Style Simple Domain? She's already opening up domains? Why are they all jumping Itadori? He about to start smacking some hoes around here now. Bro, we got a robot. We got fucking Ben 10. Not even Ben 10, fuck, fucking Mega Man. Todo is telling him to leave. Was it because he built that emotional connection with him because of big asses? Oh my God. <laughs> hey man, if you like big asses, we homies for life. If I catch you getting jump anywhere in these streets, I got you. I'm not an inconsiderate man who'd hold back against his best friend? Best friend? I wonder what this little witch girl's power is. She looks all kind and innocent right now, but she probably got some stupid broken shit. Oh, they're about to snipe her ass. The Thunderbirds. I mean, they kind of are in trouble without the witch girl because she was like their UAV. She was... Oh, this girl came in real quick with her... With a cursed weapon? They were planning to kill Itadori. There's no way that they're gonna kill him though, because like I said, he fought that fucking other dude in the other episode with the like the Frankenstein looking guy, and the Frankenstein looking guy couldn't even kill him. Yo, he already called it. My man Fuji already was like, yo, this is sus. Nobody is around here. They all went to the area right back where Itadori was. So it was kind of like a setup to just fucking off him right there. You see the girl with the cursed object? She's a homie. Because she's still gonna go back to try to save Itadori because she's just like, yo, if we lose him, we're kind of in a fucked up situation, so let's just go back. Bro, this witch girl, she's getting bodied by that crazy ass looking owl. The thunder owl? Fushiguro's fucking demon helpers is, is just insane. Oh, these guys are trolls. Wait, so it was the higher-ups that told them to go try to kill Itadori? So right now, they're just kind of sparring because I feel like this dude, he's not going his full potential against Itadori because he sees him as like a best friend. Bro, they just, they just punching it out. Oh, that slide was clean. Oh, right in the back of the door. Bro, the CQC, man. Damn, caught this man lacking. His raw strength is greater than mine despite... Oh my god, despite his body? My man is enjoying himself. What? You know that sorcerers advance in rank through the recommendation system. Oh, that's why the guy with the glasses in that one episode told the dude with the hat that he was going to recommend him to be rank one. Wait, whatever happened in that situation? What happened with this guy? Did he even defeat all those things? Gojo can't even recommend Itadori to be a first grade. So wait, so... So how did this guy with the glasses recommend the guy with the bougie hat? Oh, okay. So she wants to win because she broke. And she got two little brothers. I mean, I, I guess that's... That's a good reason. She tried to support the family. He said his ability, the divergent fist, is a bad ability because he has like the time lag where like when he hits him and then the pressure hits. Is he gonna probably try to teach him how to utilize that ability? Are you okay with staying weak? Is he gonna teach him? My best of friendo? I don't know, man. Maybe he can make him utilize this ability and maybe he could get much better at it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode with me. If you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream. Obviously, we can see that the second part of this episode is probably going to get much crazier because we didn't even see the rest of the cast's power because right now we just saw the big brawling dude talking about fat asses, right? We saw a little bit of his ability. We saw a little bit of the... The, the, the sword girl is supposed to be popping off with the, um, with the girl that could use the cursed weapons. Next episode is going to be crazy. But anyway, like I said again, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.